Funny little story about when I was in training camp here in Los Angeles, California, back when I was fighting. I remember the Mexican national boxing team came into the gym, gym to, to spar, and they had uh, 91 kilograms, the heavyweight champion, and the 81 kilograms, light heavyweight champion. I spar with both of them. First one was in, was the heavyweight, 91 kilograms. At the time, I was around 77 kilograms. I was training for soup middleweight. Anyway, I outboxed them. I boxed great, I was on my toes, because I knew we could punch as well. These guys had very small gloves on. So I'm outboxing them, did really well. But I put a lot of energy into outboxing this, this tough Mexican guy who, who was coming through on bombs. You know, I couldn't plant my feet. If I planted my feet, he was gonna blast us. So I moved my feet, did really well. I outboxed them for them four rounds. Next jumps in the light heavyweight, who's again a big strong puncher, big guy, small gloves, performed bombs. So the fifth round comes, outboxed him. Sixth round comes, I'm outboxed him, but he's starting to land punches. Now I'm getting a bit tired, just on the four with the heavyweight. Seventh round comes, I'm tired now, and he starts landing punches. The eighth round come, I'm knackered. He punches everywhere. I got my head blasted in off the Mexican light heavyweight because you know i put that much energy into the spa in the first four and at the time i didn't think much of it but when i got out of the ring now i had a migraine splitting headache i had to take headache tablets went home a few bruises on my face and all that and i never thought it was a big deal no but now you know when i think about it when i'm thinking about brain health and boxing you know, getting beat up like that the way i did it, it wasn't good and having to take headache tablets after your, your sparring, it's not good. Did I learn much in the last two rounds? I don't know, I would love to know your opinion on this. Am I, am I learning about getting more conditioned? Maybe I am. But when you're leaving the, leaving the ring and your head's being punched in that much that you've got migraine and really bad head, it's not good for you, is it? Now, is them punches having any effect on me later on in life, like now or, or in, in five years time? Because I don't know if you know this, but if you get hit in the head, the damage doesn't show for another 10 years. It's been 10 years right now, so over 10 years. So maybe it has. Maybe I would be a little bit smarter if I never took them punches. But anyway, I'd love to know your thoughts on this.